All right, today's lesson is funk door rotating. So these are the, uh, the doors that rotate rather than move in a linear fashion. So they're pretty simple. What I want you to do is start off by making a brush that's roughly in the shape of a door. So take your brush tool, pick anywhere on your map that you want. Go ahead and create a shape that's like a door or a gate or a fence or something like that. Make sure you put a material on it or a texture. Um, dimensions really don't matter. Just you know, make it human size. That would be good. So go ahead and make me a brush, put a texture on it, and then uh, pause the video and then come back after you're done. All right, so you've made a little brush here for me. All right, so this brush, what I want you to do to it, is we're gonna tie it to an entity now. So we're gonna select it. We're gonna come into the two-dimensional view. You're going to right click on it tie to entity and we're going to make it into a funk door rotating click apply all right and then what you should see is you get a little purple dot in the middle if you don't see the purple dot your door is probably thicker than mine um, but what you should see is if you look at it from the top view you're going to see there's a little circle here in the center of it you can grab that circle and you can move it Okay, so we want just the circle. So this circle represents the hinge for the door. So most of the time, you'll probably just move that out to the edge, all right? Because that's where our hinges are on doors typically, right? If you leave it in the middle, your door is going to pivot as if it were hinged in the very center. So I want you to take that, that hinge point and go ahead and move it all the way to the edge. So there's just a little circle here. And you can see it draws a little dotted line and we're going to move it right to the edge so it ends up looking something like this now under flags when you click on flags there's a whole bunch of options we're going to start with toggle and use opens click apply on your main page under class info here if you scroll down, there's really not a whole lot we're going to play with in this area. Other than distance 90, that's how far the door opens and closes. So um, 90 usually works. If you need a little more, a little less, you can use it. But we'll just leave it at 90 for now. So let's go ahead and click Apply. Close that up. And then let's go ahead and run our map and see what happens. All right, my map is compiled. All right, so there's the door right there. I'm gonna walk up to it, I'm gonna press E. And what you'll notice if you run around this guy is by default, the door always opens away from you, okay? And that's to prevent collisions with the player. So let's go back into our door settings. So let's double click on the door, go back to the flags, and you're going to see there's a checkbox that says one way. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And let's recompile our map. And let's reload and see what that did. All right, so same door. It opens that way. Go ahead and close it. Now when I open it from this side, see how it hit me? So when you select one way, the door only opens in one direction. So um, by default, it's always gonna try to open away from the player, but sometimes you might have a door that you can only open in one direction, only open inward or only open outward. So in that case, we would select that one way checkbox here. Now, if you don't like the direction it moves, you simply check reverse direction and it will still open one way just in the opposite direction. All right, sorry about that, somebody at my door. All right, now let's look at a few of the other options. So say we wanted a door that opened upward or downward, like a, like a garage door or something like that. So let's take a look at this guy right here. All right, see how this one opens that way? 
and this one opens that way. So what this is, is our X and our Y axis on the doors. So let's take a look at what is the X and the Y axis. So looking from the top, your X axis goes this way and your Y axis goes this way. All right. So this door right here is opens on the X axis. So if we go take a look at this guy, you can see his X axis is checked. And so if we look at him from the top view, you have to imagine that there's a hinge that runs on the X axis this way. Okay. So this door rotates this way. This door here is a Y axis door. So what that means is that when we look at it from the top view, we imagine that there's a hinge that goes this direction. So this door swings this way. So let's go back in here and look again at the map and you guys will be able to see it. Okay, so here's the X axis door. And here's my Y axis door. And this is a Z axis door. All right. Now with this X axis door, you'll notice that it's rotating around kind of a center hinge point, which is, you know, right in this area right here. So to fix that, what I would need to do is go in here and move this purple hinge, this guy here, I would need to move this up to this top edge if I wanted it to swing by the top. If I wanted this to be like a lowering platform, I would simply move the hinge to the bottom. Remember, this purple ball represents where the hinge is at. So even though this is a, an x-axis um, door, its hinge is right here where this purple thing's at. So in order to get this to open from the top, I would need to move that little circle. Remember, the little circle, this little circle right here is my hinge. So see if I move this guy up to the top, recompile. And let's bring the game back up and see if that helped with the hinge at all. There we go. All right, so see how it's rotating based off of this top hinge up here now? All right, so for your lesson today, what I want you to make is this little example right here. And you can record it on video or you can show me, you know, it'll take about three screenshots to show me or a really short video. I want a Z axis door. I want a Y axis door and I want an X axis door. All right. So you can see these all operate in different directions. Z, Y, X. All right. So I would like one of each set up just like this. X, Y, Z. Okay. X, Y, Z. One of each. Send me a video, screenshot, whatever it takes, and um, that'll be your lesson for today.